and you want me to and, and you want me to see whether I can apply intersectionality to the history of the Hampshire monarchy? <laughs> I would I I would first have to be more clearly understanding our American brothers to the south, which is often very difficult for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, since you won't acknowledge that you lost the war of 1812, uh, to start with, we're always we're always starting from from different places. So I, I have to say that uh, adopting um, uh, concepts or notions that are very specific to the American dynamic and trying to transplant them into a hermeneutic for understanding Habsburg history is, for me at least, a little bit difficult. Um, and. I think that I, I would have to understand the notions a lot better. Uh, I mean, I know you've given a good explanation, but again, I think it needs like a, an article that I have to read in, in order to fully understand what, what is meant by this, and then to try to translate it into sort of Austrian terms. Thank you very much. I, okay. Uh,